Joining me now is Dr. John Hartman. Dr. John Hartman is a wonderful cosmetic dentist and you do a lot of really tremendous work with people, especially those who've maybe been born without teeth. And uh, you have a particular patient that you've just done some remarkable stuff with. That's right. I think you're speaking about Samar. Not all cases are perfectly straightforward and simple. Some are more complicated. I would say cases that have missing teeth are certainly more complicated. And today we have um, new technology that allows us to replace missing teeth without removable bridges and without the fixed bridges. The old fixed bridges meant you would had to grind down the adjacent teeth to, uh, to replace a missing tooth. That's not a particularly desirable situation. In Samar's case, she had a missing tooth in the front of her mouth, which made it even worse. I wouldn't smile. I was like the most uh, unpleasant person to be. <laughs> not, 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 that, not that bad, but I mean, I, I wasn't smile. I mean, I didn't smile at all. I would always like go like this. Didn't want to show my teeth. Because Samar had a particularly complicated case, it's best to work in a team approach. We all have our specialties and mine is cosmetics, but the other dentist can pro actually perform some of the surgical cases better. In her case, she needed some orthodontic work. So um, we sent her to an implant specialist who actually did the surgery. He placed a little titanium cylinder into that space and after that was ready, then we went ahead and restored it with a, with a porcelain crown. Is it hard for you to smile? Oh God, no, no. Uh -uh, I love to smile now. I mean, no, I'm a very smiley person. <laughs> It must be very gratifying for you when you see these patients who all their life have been afraid to show their smile and then they're so pleased with the results. Oh, absolutely. It, that, that's probably the most rewarding thing about what we do is to see the change that occurs, the transformation that happens in our patients from uh, the very first appointment when they don't want to smile and they're uncomfortable, insecure, uh, self-conscious, and then they just blossom. You always think, oh, it's superficial, it's just, you know, who cares, whatever. But it really made a big difference. Um, I mean, it just boosted my self-confidence. And uh, I'm very happy with it. I did it for me. I didn't do it for people. I didn't do it for, uh, you know, for other people. What I'm like, you know, I just did it for me. It well, you know, it's, it's wonderful to see that there is so much more you can do now um, in cosmetic dentistry because certainly your smile is one of the first things, if not the first thing, people notice about you.